Although it included the name of the city in its title, the Flagstaff Symphony Orchestra was not originally populated by just Flagstaff musicians. When it was first getting started, a good chunk of the ensemble was driven in from out of town. This was necessary for the ambitious young orchestra to put on its 70 and 85 piece productions. A program from 1951 lists where each performer came from, including Prescott, Sedona, Winslow, Snowflake, Holbrook, and the newly renamed Arizona State College Flagstaff. The first rehearsals were held in the old main band room, before later switching to practicing in the liberal arts building band room. In addition to holding practices in Old Main, the Flagstaff Symphony Orchestra held their first concerts in Ashurst Auditorium, which was and still is connected to Old Main. After seeing the Flagstaff Symphony Orchestra's first concert in Ashurst Auditorium, the Pollocks and other members of the Flagstaff community were determined to form a group to support the orchestra. It was actually at a party hosted by the Pollocks in May of 1950 that the whole Pro Musica Society endeavor got started. The guests of the party each signed the family's guest book, leaving record of this fact. The Flagstaff Symphony Guild, largely composed of local women who wished to support the orchestra financially, was started five years later. The Northern Arizona Pro Musica Society was formed for the purpose of actively fostering and supporting all music productions that contribute to the cultural growth of Northern Arizona with particular concentration upon amateur music making by our own people. After the formation of the Northern Arizona Pro Musica Society, all of the Flagstaff Symphony Orchestra's concerts were presented by the Society, as shown on the title pages of each of their programs.